Now, I've lived in Philly for about my entire life. I've been to so many different cheesesteak places in the entirety of this city. There's some that I've missed. Angelo's, Del Rossi's, Cleaver I've heard from a couple of people at my job earlier. And there's probably so many others that I've missed. But there's many of others that I've been to. Ishka Bibble, Jim's, recently been to Pat and Gino's. And these three, these are the three that I went to last Saturday. So Saturday night, I decided to take a walk, go out. And I thought to myself, you know what? Let me get some cheesesteaks because I was craving cheesesteaks and I needed to try to like go back to one of the places, which was Jim's that just opened up because they had a big fire last year. And I I had Geno's before, but that's been at like, it's never been at the definitive Geno's spot and I never had Pat's before. So I decided to make a trip and go ahead and get these three cheesesteaks. Now I had slices of them. Or I had half of them of each last night. And I was like you know what. I'm going to come back today. Make a little video. And give a definitive like which of the three is better. Now like I said. I've had many different ones before. My favorite place personally for me is. Delisandro's. Because the way that their cheesesteaks are made. And I've had them for so many years. I never get enough of them. And their whiz is really good. But. In terms of like the difference in each of these places is so different. A lot of these places are very different. Hell, there's new ones that are opening up and it's like their cheesesteaks are very different from like other places that got cheesesteaks and it's so crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and as you will find out right now, I have, if I can get this right, into a shot, two, three. These are the three cheesesteaks that I have with me. This one right here is Gino's. This one right here is, well, if I can move this out of the way, this one right here, if I'm pointing at it right here, yeah. This one right here is Jim's, and this one right here is Pat's. Now, my cheesesteaks are very definitive and very easy. Cheese Whiz. I always go with whiz cheese, onions, peppers. If they have hot peppers, I go with hot peppers. Sweet peppers, I go with sweet peppers. I didn't get sweet peppers on the Pat's one, which is right here. I didn't get sweet peppers on this, but I did get it on Gino's, and I got it on Jim's. I reheat these up in the air fryer that I had, and I'm going to make it a little definitive. It's going to take a couple of small bites to, like, definitive size, like, which ones I believe, which one I believe is better, but I already got like an assessment of like which one I'd like more. But I'm gonna start with Pat's right here. This is a little more small than like the other ones. Like size comparison is very, very crazy. And the meat portion is very, very insane. I put salt and pepper on it to add a little more flavor, but overall, also I get mayo. I get mayo on my uh, cheesesteaks. No, I don't get any ketchup because I actually realized that I don't like ketchup as much on my cheese sticks compared to mayo. Because mayo actually gives a more derivative taste than what, than what I believe ketchup would do, if you know what I mean. So this is Pat's right here. It has fried onions. Like I said, salt, pepper with some mayo. It's actually, I don't think there's, I don't think there is mayo. Also, here's a quick thing. Pat's and Gino's toppings and choices along with gyms are very selective in a way or should i say minimal <sighs> like in other places you can get mayo you can get fried onions and you can get all these different kind of things you want but pats and genos these two you actually have to like do this on the side they have these con they have the condiments on the side outside because they're not like they're they're not like every other place that you go to <sighs> And from many people said that these two are the kings of cheesesteaks. Well, Pat King of Steaks and Gino is like the two tourist places of Philly. Jim's is like one of the other tourist places, but they're like deep in like the tourist part of the city, which is South South Street, where everything goes down. And Ishkabibble is down there too. I go to Ishkabibble part two, not part one, or Ishkabibble two, not one, and... 
I also, like I said, go to Dallas Andros. That's all the way up on Roxboro, which is a long trip, but I can make that trip because they got some of the best, they got, in my opinion, the best cheesesteak there is. But let me get into this. Pat's right here. See, the thing is, because of the little dryness in this, it's a little hard to get down. You do have to add something on the side. But I believe their meat, their steak, is actually seasoned pretty nicely. Their onions are okay. Their bread is fine, but it could be a little bit more. And like I said, their cheese is, their cheese is fine as well. If we can get hints of it. But if I had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, Pat's is like a 6. Like I said, the limited choices do kind of bring it down just a little bit. Now on the Geno's, which is right here. These are onion sweet peppers. I did put some salt pepper on there. Again, little limited choices on your condiments because most of them are outside. One that has good flavor. The peppers do bring out the flavor. Their steak is not like everyone else's steak. If I can show you like a piece of it. This is actually how it looks. It's not like chopped up, chopped up, but it's like almost sliced in a way. I wonder if I can show you. Yeah, this is how it looks. Mm. And also, like, the cheese. It's one thing about their cheese. The cheese adds a lot of flavor to what their steak already is. Their steak could use a little bit more seasoning. But all in all, it's fine. But not, like, the best of the best. And not better than... It's better than Pat's, I will say. Pat's, I said a six. This, actually, I'll take it back. This is a five. Pat's is a five. Right here. Gino's is a six. And now, let's hit those right here. And then I'll go right in to the last one. Jim's right here. Now, the bread already was soggy to begin with, which I actually like. In a cheesesteak because it does mean that this steak was made right off the grill. Fried onions. You also get some sweet peppers. The cheese, they first add it into the bread. The mayo is on the bread. Then they add cheese on top. And I'll always have a respect level for gyms. But some of it just fell off. Because when I first went there, I believe in... 2022, I was very surprised that not many people talk about this place. It was probably 2022 or 2023 that I went there. But my God, I was impressed. Them and Ishkabil, almost like a competitive, a friendly rivalry in a way. I did add salt and pepper on this too, so I'll find out exactly how this tastes. But I already know how it is. Because I've had this so many times. Pats and Geno's are like the only two I really didn't have. Geno's is like a place. Geno's is like a cheesesteak I'll have 
if I'm at Xfinity Live and it's like really like one other place I don't want to eat at the restaurants or at the uh, actual NBC Sports thing right there. So let's get into this one. Do I care that I did that on camera? No. Awesome. Like I said, so damn good. Bread. Like I said, soggy, but that's what makes a cheesesteak good. And the bread is soggy enough as is. Now, I did wait until I got home or in the house to, like, actually eat these. I didn't eat these right away. And like I said, I ate half of each last night. So technically I'm cheating, but I don't care because I actually wanted to do this little thing to like really just describe like each one of these places in a different way. Like I did just now. Jim's is overall just so damn good. Some people said Jim's has the best cheese whiz. And I totally agree with that statement. Their cheese whiz is actually really, really good. The renovation that they did as well, if you make your way to Philly one day, head on over to Jim's. They actually expanded from the, just their, well, not just their small kitchen that they had before, but now it's like a bigger dining area. They have an upstairs. It's so damn cool. I'm probably going to post it onto the channel later, but Jim's is just so good. Peppers are, the peppers are just, they're sweet. They're sweet peppers and not hot peppers, but, or green peppers either, which is very crazy. I'm surprised that any of these places don't have green peppers, because I like green peppers. Hot peppers I like too, but green peppers is the one way to go with these, with these cheesesteaks, with cheesesteaks overall. Fried onions, green peppers, mayo, cheese whiz, definitive cheesesteak. But Jim's, so damn good. Nothing I can't lie to, like, say that when I first had it, Again, this year compared to the time last year before they had their fire in the summer, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to, oh my God, this place was, this was so good. This was like a really good cheesesteak. And sometimes I would hit gins before I hit Ishka Bibble because they were really good. But then I like Ishka Bibble more because their choices are much more varied in a way, if you can describe it compared to these three places but if anything Jim's offers the best cheesesteaks out of these two some people will say that because they're like the big tourist attractions they get the most attention but I say just pass away from Pat's and Gino's make your way to a much different place make your way to a place like Jim's or make your way to a place like Angelo's or Del Rossi's or like I said Ishkabibu or make the trip all the way up the uh, Roxborough to Delisandro's. Now, a lot of people have ragged on, like, these cheesesteaks because there's not that many definitive cheesesteaks or people say that Philly cheesesteaks are overrated. That's okay. People can say what they want to say about Philly cheesesteaks being overrated and saying that chopped cheese from New York is good. But if you're coming to Philly and you want to try food, if you want to try a cheesesteak, this is, like, one of the places to go. Don't listen to, like, the whole internet world saying... Oh, Pat's Geno's. Nah, the Philly internet world, I should say. Don't listen to the Philly internet. Listen to the, like, people that enjoy quality over, like, the actual attraction. Now, I will say Geno's does have, like, fries. I think every other place has fries as well. And I, I think they have, like, I think their fries are solid, but not compared to, like, other places. And this is not the rag on Pats and Geno's. Pats and Geno's is pretty solid. Like, they're solid. They're fine. But they're not like the be-all, end-all of Philly cheesesteaks. If you get what I'm saying. So, get to a spot where it's like 
people really are going to tell you the right places. Get to like uh, a good, good like um, channel or profile page that tells you like the exact right places to go. Gyms is definitely the best out of these two, but. If you like Pats or Geno's, you like Pats or Geno's, and that's fine. It doesn't matter. It's like qual. It's like your choice is your choice. But I like Jins better. Jins gets an eight. Maybe I might do this video again with like Ishkabibble and Delisandros and get these three, turn it into like a big cheesesteak, or maybe do like a big cheesesteak overall review. I miss guess find like the best places I sell cheesesteak in Philly. Review all of them in one and see how it goes. But overall, your choice is your choice. My choice is gyms. Like I said, this is an eight. Let me know what other places I should try in my or in the comments down below. I really should start doing more food reviews on here. Maybe because there's a lot of places that I need to go and there's a lot of places that I want to try out. And I know there's a lot of places that other people want to try as well and are afraid to go to. But want to hear other people's words so let, let me know some other places that are down let that, that are like places I, I should try out or places you want to try out and want me to try for you and let you know if it's a good place or not so other than that peace and love and i will see you all very soon